Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. If you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make chicken malai tikka. This is one of the famous Indian appetizer. This can be used as an appetizer or even a main course by just placing the chicken pieces in a row and with some onions, cabbage and green chutney. It's perfect for main course if kids love it, even adults love it. So let's get started with the ingredients. I am using a chicken breast. This recipe calls for a chicken breast and I am cutting excess fat. You definitely do not want any fat on the chicken. Here I am using one and a half pound of chicken. My chicken breast is pretty big so I am going to cut, cut them into half and now I am going to cut them into big size cubes. We want these chicken pieces to be bigger cubes because this recipe calls for bigger cubes and also the reason why it absorbs the moist very well and the meat tends to be tender when you cook them. Now transfer the meat into a big bowl with salt as needed, half a lemon juice, garlic half, 1 tablespoon and ginger 1 tablespoon. I have used finely grated but you can use ginger garlic paste. Now combine them well until all the pieces of chicken is well coated and we are going to marinate at least 3 to 4 hours. The more, more you marinate the better flavor you get so it's up to you if you can marinate even longer period of time. When you're ready to do the second marination, we will prepare the marinade. One and a half tablespoon yogurt, one and a half tablespoon heavy cream or double cream, one tablespoon cream cheese, but if you don't have access to cream cheese, just substitute with half a teaspoon of yogurt and half a teaspoon heavy cream, one tablespoon finely chopped ginger, half a teaspoon cardamom powder, one tablespoon stem of cilantro if you guys did not know that stem carries more flavor than the leaves now you do i have finely chopped them one green chili that's finely chopped you can add more if you want but one chili should be just fine half a teaspoon cumin seeds i'm using regular cumin seeds if you can get your hands on black cumin seeds that works perfect but if you don't find them that's okay too this works as good as black cumin seeds so now whisk them well until it's smooth and there is no lumps. I'm going to go ahead and remove the chicken from the refrigerator that, that's been marinating for last 5 hours. Now we will go ahead and add the chicken to the second marinade. The chicken is well marinated. It smells so good with the ginger and garlic paste and the flavor. Now I'm going to add the chicken to the second marinade and mix them well. And coat the chicken pieces really well to get the maximum flavors out of it. Now the chicken is well marinated. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with the cling wrap or even a plate and refrigerate for approximately an hour. This way you get all the flavors mixed and absorbed by the chicken and when we grill them or put them in the oven, it's going to be so flavorful and moist. Now my chicken has been sitting in the fridge for an hour. Now we are going to thread the chicken in the skewers. If you're using the wooden skewers, soak them in the water at least for an hour in a cold water. Now preheat your oven at 375 degrees. If you're using outdoor grill, cook each side for a minute. In each skewers, I'm just threading three pieces of chicken. Since it's big, we do not want to overcrowd them. And because we are going to cook in the oven, we don't want them to steam. We want them to grill. So make sure you do not overcrowd them. I have placed the chicken pieces on the wire rack and below I have a cookie sheet. This way the steam escapes and then the chicken gets grilled evenly. Make sure you just turn once between the cooking time so that it gets evenly browned. Once it is done, you will see the brown edges on the side like this. You can serve with green chutney, some lemon wedges and also sprinkle some chaat masala if it's available in your market. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe. Please do not forget to subscribe, leave the comment and big thumbs up. See you soon in my next video guys. Bye!